HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Camille, obviously not the start we wanted. What went wrong today? I mean, uh, well, it's definitely, obviously you can point out something, what, what went wrong, uh, what went good. But the main thing is, like, uh, obviously we were uh, tunneled down and uh, it's not easy after 25 minutes, first game of the season at home. And uh, obviously uh, everyone felt bad, but we managed to get one back and uh, obviously I felt uh, we've been closer to score the goal in the second half than, uh, than the opposition, but unfortunately we didn't get the goal. So that means we still have zero points, uh, but obviously uh, we work as a team, so we, we lose as a team, we win as a team. So uh, obviously we need to uh, figure out what we can do better and I think obviously it's 45 more games to go. We obviously conceded two goals in a short space of time. How much did that kind of kill our momentum? Well, as I said before, um, especially the first game of the season, so you, this is not the start that you wanted to have, but um, the main thing is just, just, I mean, I know it sounds simple, but just keep playing and uh, obviously, probably if you don't get this uh, this goal for us, then you know how it goes sometimes when you two nil down after 25 minutes. So uh, it didn't happen, thanks God. And uh, yeah, we managed to get one back and uh, shame that we didn't get more. In the second half, we came out fighting early doors, but when we did that, Derby seemed to sit back a lot more. It made it harder for us to create those chances. Yeah, obviously they had the result that they wanted to have. So uh, yeah, we spoke in the halftime like you, you can imagine we did. And uh, we spoke what we were supposed to do better. And uh, I think that the second half was, was promising. I'm not going to say it was much better, but it was promising. And uh, obviously the first half was the one to forget. And, but we need to take uh, obviously the points that went wrong, as we said already. So um, yeah, well, obviously they, they stay low. That is not difficult. It's obviously it's difficult to break through. But we had some chances. We we didn't score. And uh, yeah, in championship you have to be ruthless. This is the point. And uh, when you don't score, the opposition gonna score. So yeah, two one. It's obviously we lose. Doesn't matter how big that was. And uh, yeah, we need to bounce back quick. Obviously you weren't here last year, but mentality-wise for the lads who were after such a difficult year last year, it's really important that as a team we come together and we bounce back. That's, that's what we talk about. We don't, we don't want to have, even after the, 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 obviously you need to feel bad, you need, it has to hurt obviously when you lose the game, but we just don't have this uh, negativity in a, in a dressing room. Like, you know, you can imagine how it goes sometimes. And uh, like you said, the last season was tough. So uh, obviously you want to have better one this season. So the main part of it is just just keep the obviously stick together and uh, and play together. And you're a positive guy. How do you help in in the dressing room to keep that spirit up? Well, we'll talk after the season how I helped. Yeah, but I hope just we just as I said we bounce back and uh, and go to the QPR for three points. As a team, what did Jan Ziva say to you all after the game? Well, obviously, it's not much to talk about after the after the game that you lose. So uh, I think we're just going to do meeting tomorrow and uh, just forget about the game because the schedule is tight, as you can as you can imagine. So, uh, well, you can talk about positive sides, and uh, obviously you need to because otherwise you're just going to going to feel everything went wrong. But it's not time, you know, to just uh, do everyone a favor and just talk. Yeah, that went good. That went good, and uh, all the stuff. We need to obviously take the point out of it and uh, put it into the next game. For you, result aside, how happy were you to make your Huddersfield Town debut at the John Smiths? Well, I'm happy that I made the debut for the big club, but I'm just feel sorry for the fans. You know, I don't know how many of them was on the stadium, but I can imagine over 20,000 probably. And obviously, first game of the season, this is not the result you want to get. And uh, yeah, happy to make my debut, but it's just I hope it's, it's many more games to come. And uh, I, I think I can contribute a little bit better and uh, obviously help the team to get the points. How have you found your time at Huddersfield Town so far? Perfect. Good? Yeah. Uh, just finally, obviously this was our first game, QPR is coming round quickly. It's the beauty of the championship that games come so fast. You can this is, this is the, I think we're on the, oh, I, obviously, apparently, I think we're on the better side because when you lose, you've got time to, to, to win a quick. I think when you, when you win, you need to be more careful that you need to uh, realise that there is many, many more games to come. So you need to obviously have more pressure. Obviously, we have big pressure now, but it's not, not time to talk about that. We have pressure. Everyone knows that we want to win, that we want to play good and uh, we want to be high on at the end of the season. So, um, yeah, that's. I mean, the schedule is perfect to just bounce back.